Rowan, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. It's great to be here. So what is CurveNote? CurveNote is um, a platform for scientists to help them communicate science in sort of a more authentic way, especially with computational notebooks so they can show more of their research, which is the data and the code and sort of all of the interactive graphics behind their research. So it makes it more accessible to more people or like layman general guy out on the street would be able to look at this and kind of have an idea what's going on. If you think about how science is communicated today, it's mm -hmm. all about sort of PDF documents and there's like a classic picture that I use of a, a, a mobile phone with a two column PDF that you're like sort of zooming into one side and zooming out, zooming into the other side and there's a table that's on its side and like the way science has, is being communicated hasn't changed in hundreds of years. We've moved from paper into PDF documents. But the way that scientists have, are working has changed so much. We're using supercomputers and like all of this data and visualizations and being able to interrogate it. And so that sort of divergence of where, of sort of how we're communicating and how we're working as researchers, there's like a dissonance there. And, and that's, that's sort of the, the part that um, we, we want to help fix. Okay. So the theme for AGU this year is wide open science. Yeah. How does Curve Note fit into that? We're working with AGU on a new initiative called Notebooks Now. Okay. Um, and it's trying to change how science is communicated with these computational notebooks. And so we're putting that at sort of the center of how we can communicate science. Yeah. Can you give an example of like something you were trying to communicate and you were like, the tools here are really failing me? My PhD was in computational geophysics, and so I was creating tools for my peers, and then going out into uh, educational contexts, and we did sort of a lecture tour all, all over the world. You want to see electromagnetic fields and like play with the conductivity of, of different parts and see all of the fields and fluxes, and you can't communicate that in a PowerPoint slide. You can't communicate that in a static document you need like either a magnet and iron filings <laughs> around you where uh -huh. you can like change the magnet or you need a computer to actually simulate it. And so we were sort of merging those two ways of communicating and I think that's, the students got so much more out of it um, and it's also tied to the actual research and so you're bringing students through education and through to cutting edge research in a much clearer way than a PowerPoint slide or a PDF where you just, you just stop. Yeah. Are you seeing scientists adopting this? Are they excited about the possibilities? And then, like, how do you see this changing science and science education? There's like 20 or 30,000 computational notebooks published um, using some of our tools. And so I think there's a lot of drive where it hasn't quite gotten to yet is sort of that professional scientific publishing communication. And that's what we're working on with AGU is to try and take it all the way so that people can get full credit and share all of their work. And this fits in pretty well with like open access and like yeah. making sure that people can see all these materials and see the great work that all these scientists are doing. What I sort of think about when I think about open science is sharing more of your work and really communicating as much of your research as openly as possible, but also communicating fully so that you can build upon someone else's work, stand on the shoulders of giants. That sort of the ethos of science is building on other people's work and if you have like a, a paragraph or a sentence in a PDF document that says like I use this method and then you have like all of your code and notebook and data over here that you're not sharing, then you can't build on, on that. You, and, and so that, that's like really impacts the dissemination of knowledge and the ability to build upon other people's work. Rowan Cockett, thank you so much for coming in and talking to us about CurveNote. Thank you. It's been a pleasure being here.